Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tote Tarot. I am your host, Sarita Savage, and I am so excited to be doing this part two. This is the companion to the first episode of Tote Tarot, which was all about new moon manifestation. So if you didn't watch that video, be sure that you click up top and you watch that video and then come back to this one to see if some of your intentions, things that you've been thinking about, if they have manifested or are starting to show signs of their manifestation, okay? You don't need to let us know all the tea, but if some things have been happening for you, please let us know in the comments, all right? It's really, really important. And for all of you other cannabis enthusiasts and lovers, tarot and oracle lovers, and just witchy, vibey, spiritual, esoteric people in general, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share so that we know and other people can know about the community that we are building over around these parts. Okay. Today, we are going to do a full moon spread. This full moon oracle spread is going to be all about what we are going to be releasing, what energies are surrounding us now, as well as what needs to be released, what intentions need to be set, and what magic is going to be made. Before we get into it, something that I want to make sure we all know is we did this initially at the new moon because the new moon is when our moon cycle starts all over again and so we go from our sky being really really dark up into our full moon which is the second full moon that we are actually having this month of october and this is the first halloween full moon in 76 years Seven and six is 13, three and one is four, and four is a number of manifestation. Ain't that crazy? The idea is when you get to the full moon, you've got the, the, the moon is so big and it's beautiful and it's bright and it's at full illumination. And the intentions that we set and the goals that we are looking to achieve, they should be blooming and illuminating as well. So that's why we work with the moon cycle to set our goals and our intentions so that we can manifest more in flow with the cycles of the elements. Before we get started though, I'll let y'all know what I'm smoking on. And today I have a treat. The girl has some concentrates and I'm very excited because I am a big concentrate fan. I love dabs. It is definitely my preferred way to consume and I don't get to do it as often as I would like. So I'm really glad that I got a chance to get some um, concentrates. These are This one is by Cresco. It's a live butter and it is called Cambodian, Cambodian Thai times Boel Skunk Live. And this is from the Remedy Dispensary in Columbia, Maryland. So I'm gonna open it and show you guys. I mean, it smells so bomb. I've already, you know, clearly been dipping and having a good time. This was like a very happy, relaxed, very upbeat, awake kind of strain. This is kind of like a, a coffee strain. Like if you need a shot during the day, you feeling like a little fatigue. This is actually not a bad strain to um, try and use for that purpose. This is like a very wake and bake strain. And I'm gonna be using my Dank Funk Extracts Vaporizer to uh, enjoy this. So I love this, it's already charged. You just take the top off here, you load right in there, and you have this little button here that you press, press and pull, and it's beautiful. I'm gonna load this puppy up real quick, real nice light. Y'all get y'all stuff ready too so that we can you know, have this reading and it's like a moment in history. And I hope everyone's having a good time and manifesting and taking care of themselves. The time between the new moon and now getting to the full moon, even for me, has brought up, you know, some 
emotions and thoughts and feelings and things that I thought I had let go I realized that I hadn't let go and instead of you know kind of just compartmentalizing like I used to do in the past I'm a Virgo I've been doing more sitting with myself and trying to really think about what it is I'm thinking about and getting to the root of things that have been lingering. Um, and one thing that came up for me was just the idea of being able to work with people and build community. It's been underlying for a while. And so that was something that came up and I said, okay, how can I manifest more opportunities to work with others and build more robust and uh, impactful communities, especially during these very interesting times that we live in? And so, you know, that's something to also think about when you're manifesting and you're writing out your intentions and your goals, there might be other things and feelings that come up for you. And that, I believe, helps you to fully Take stock of the things that you know you're doing and you're thinking about so that you can actively go out and reach your goals and build and manifest all the things that you truly, truly want. Vape is loaded, cards is ready. We are using Stacy DeMarco's The Halloween Oracle. This is a beautiful deck, um, and we used it in our new moon manifestation reading. And again, make sure you check that out. Just gonna shuffle these up a bit, and we're gonna get going here is this this uh this step is just really 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 nice it's such a nice flavor but you can't pull too hard on these things because i'm telling you you be coughing and so it's, it's a hot mess it ain't cute it's not cute bless Get it started. I'm already seeing at least one card that came up in the new moon spread. Interesting. Mm. Okay. All right. So let's just start with what is actually at the bottom of the deck, and that is this beautiful owl in front of what you guys a full moon <laughs> oh a key and you know one thing that we know about owls is they're nocturnal you know they come out in the evening to hunt and to do their work they see from a different perspective they also are very strong um very kind of quiet they give this kind of mystical air and the message here says wise seeing wise action wise seeing wise action when you can see from a different perspective when you can see things in a new light you can make a different decision and in this case it might be wiser decisions if you can see from a place of wisdom from a place of serenity from a place that is not filled with clutter and angst and frustration and you can see from a place of love and from light and from joy and from hope then other solutions wiser solutions more impactful insights will be offered and available to you and then you can take that wiser action than maybe you were at first considering so the overall message of our manifestation full moon spread is to be wise and for some people that could also be about being open to having wise people come into your lives elders or spiritual leaders like coaches um, people that can help you move up to another level help you fly higher and rise above things and again you're entering into that space because it's clear it's a full illumination so that message really is also about taking stock of everything that you have done up until this point and see how illuminated you are see how much wiser you have become from where you first started and now that the year is starting to really wind down this is a perfect time to stay take stock of where you started in the new year even to where you are now 
and the progress, the growth that you have made. See where there may have been some bumps in the road and maybe now with more insight and hindsight, you can maybe see how you could have changed things, how you could have course corrected and or how you can still make changes and course correct situations. All right, let's go on to our first card, which is all about what needs to be seen and known tonight. And that is the message from the spider, which is community and web weaving. And isn't that like a really, really beautiful web that this spider has spun? And even this like tribal symbol here, it's also really interesting. Also this beautiful circle again, and you see like the sunlight, these sun rays coming through, um, you know, insight, divine insight and wisdom, inspiration, um, you know, new seeds, new opportunity. And this is really about though, where you are, where, where you are at this full moon is at this place of community and building community and coming together and figuring out how you can create your own web, your own web of people that you can reach out to. You know, who is your support system? Who are people that you can work with for professional advancement? Who are people maybe that you need to be working with as a mentor and or as a mentee? You know, what is the community that you need to be thinking about building at this full moon? Because one thing we know is it's not all about us. And even when we think about manifesting, the goals and some of the desires and things that we have, it's not just about you. And it, or, or let me rephrase that, not that it's not about you because these are your goals and your dreams, but more so who are the other people that will be helping you reach your goals and reach your dreams? Who is that community? the community that will be helping you to build, and then the community that you will be building up. So that is where you are at this full moon, figuring out the community aspect of your purpose in this space and time, and what does community building and outreach look like for you. So now what needs to be seen and known tonight? And we got the veil, so the future. So tonight it's about really seeing to that other side. And it's so interesting. We are having this full moon on Halloween. This has not happened in 76 years. Stop it. So now this is a real confirmation that you need to see into the future. You need to take off the veil and not let circumstances dictate what your future and what your path looks like you need to take stock of those circumstances you need to know what is happening but also know that you are driving this car this is your future and you have every right to plan it the way that you want to plan it so what you need to know and what you need to see tonight on this full moon is that it's time to take the veil off and go for what you know is yours plan your future, be optimistic, suspend all belief. And on that, we're gonna have a smoke break. Okay. Lovely. What needs to be released? Death. And you know, the eternal cycle begins here. So this is what this says. And, and, and interesting enough, this is a skull, but what the skull looks like, it's in a what? A, a full moon. And this illumination, this metamorphosis. So what needs to be released is the old you. The expectations and the limits that other people have placed on you. Let all that shit go. Let it go. Rest in peace. I'll give it a funeral. And it's, it's your time to transform. You've got to release those things and people and situations, thought patterns and habits that really don't serve you, especially if you want to manifest these things. And, and that's what this is all about. It's about manifesting. You know, how can we manifest a better world for ourselves, a better world for other people, whatever it is you want, a new car, a new house, a new job, 
whatever it is, it is going to require you to dead some things, some situations and some people. But through that, you know, through this smoke, through this fog, through this ugly, hard time, you're reborn. A new cycle begins. Don't be afraid to let go of things. And sometimes, you know, that's definitely easier said than done. But if you can remember that this is going to bring about a profound transformation that is ushering you into a whole new stratosphere of joy and happiness and insight and again illumination knowledge then let that be what helps you navigate this death and rebirth cycle but it needs to be released and again it's a perfect time it's full circle and i know for so many of you that are you know looking at this and taking this in you've been releasing you've been letting go and so for you it's a confirmation that you are being reborn through all of this you are being reborn now what energy do you need to call in now this is a key key the jack-o-lantern protection this is one of the cards that we got during the new moon uh reading so this is a you know a theme to protect ourselves, protect ourselves physically, protect ourselves mentally, protect ourselves spiritually, and know that we are protected because sometimes you don't feel protected and so that fear gets in and it stops you from moving ahead. You know, it stops you from releasing the things that are hindering your transformation. But if you can trust that you are being protected, and that you do have angels and guides that are out here that are surrounding you, that are waiting on you to call on them and deploy them, you know, to those things that are trying to stop you. And a lot of times it could be internal things, you know, just that internal clutter in your own head that is stopping you from living the life that you know that you want to live, the life that you deserve because you don't feel protected. This is the energy that needs to be called in. Meditate, journal, Call in your spirit guides. Talk to your spirit guides. Archangel Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel, Archangel Metatron. If you want some mega protection, call in Archangel Metatron. And know that you are protected. Know that you can go out here and take these bold risks. You know, I just recently watched Travis Scott's documentary on Netflix. I'm such a big fan um, of him. And I just watched the documentary and I just found it so interesting that he is all about giving the kids and, you know, the younger generation hope. And in order for him to do that, he does it through his music, but he has to really be brave and he has to trust the process. And he has to trust that he is being guided and he is being protected and he is being led because he is doing this with a purpose. And if your intention is good and your purpose is noble, I think that that also can help you feel a lot more secure when you're going out and trying to navigate and do the work that you feel that you have been put on this earth to do. So the energy that needs to be called in at this time is the energy of protection and trusting that you are divinely protected during this transformation. Okay, so what intention need to be set now? The werewolf exploring wildness and again another full moon okay and i'm not going to even get into the fact that the jack-o-lantern is round and could also represent a full moon i'm just saying i'm gonna just say one full moon two full moon and the overall energy full moon catch the t so this is a what a word For a lot of people, it really feels like it's about, you know, again, seen from that different perspective and even the werewolf, it's this half man, half wolf, howling at the moon, but able to tap into two different worlds. So really taking bigger risks, like when's the last time you 
howled at the moon. You know, when is the last time you just took a walk and listened to nature? You didn't listen to your music or a podcast. Like, you were just trying to be in tune with the natural entertainment that surrounds you. Because, again, that can give you, you know, different insight, a, a different perspective on things. That can clear out some space that you need to be able to communicate better or make different changes that will help support the goals and the things that you are working to manifest. And so when this werewolf shows up, it is really asking us to tap into that wildness, you know, the message exploring wildness. What does wildness look like for you? Trying something new, reading something new, exploring something that is different. Maybe it's different than how you grew up, different from what your community is known for totally different from anything that you have ever done but it gives you an opportunity to explore and see something new and so at this full moon at this illumination you know the intention that you need to set is about exploring the wild side exploring the sides that are hidden you know and maybe it could even be exposing you know this werewolf is out at the full moon exposing himself coming out howling at the moon and basically saying you know i'm here you know i i i am here and so for some people this could be a really good reminder to set an intention to get out of your shell get out of your own way and then lastly what magic will be made what magic will be made? Illumination. Okay, now stop it. Because again, like this other, another big moon. So the magic that will be made, the magic that will be, uh, you know, made available is full illumination, insight, wisdom, knowledge, spirituality, strength, courage, strength, courage, and wisdom. It just came out. That's just what happens. It's been inside of me all along. You got that? Okay. But that's the magic. <laughs> that is the magic that will happen. Insight. You know, like, you don't want to have regrets. You don't want to be living with regrets. And sometimes if you don't explore the things that are within you, you can be regretful later on. Like, oh, I, why didn't I try that? You know, why didn't I... Why didn't I build that community, start that group? Why didn't I, you know, go to the Bible study so I could get out and meet other people and bring new people into my life, you know? Why didn't I let go of that baggage, that dead weight? You know, why didn't I trust the process and trust that things were gonna work out, you know? Why, you know, why was I afraid to shoot for the stars and go after the things that I said that I want? This is really saying, you are manifesting the things that you want. And what is going to be required of you is just letting go, trusting the process, and trusting that your manifestations are coming. Your, your full illumination is coming. And so for some of you, you may have been manifesting some smaller things. Oh, I want $100, you know. Oh, I want to so and so to ask me out on the date. And those things may come fairly quickly. And then for others, or in addition to those smaller manif manifestations and goals that you have, you have bigger things. You know, I want to move across the country. I want to invent da 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 da. I want to get a patent on this. And so those manifestations are going to take a little bit more time. But this is to remind you that the magic that will be made, that will be coming to you, will be exactly what it is that you want. It is going to be a full illumination. It is going to go from that new moon that dark time where it doesn't really seem like things are happening and over time the moon gets brighter and brighter and brighter until we have that full moon, that full illumination, that full cycle. So the skull of light is the end goal. That is the magic that is being made and coming towards you at this time of your manifestation. You know, use the, the powerful energy of the full moon to clear yourself, release anything that has been lingering, tie up those loose ends and set, you know, those intentions and check in to see what has already started to manifest for you from when we came and started this at the new moon. Know that you are so much more powerful than you think and you can 
possibly imagine and that with time and with patience and just with the right intentions, you can really manifest anything, anything that you want. Okay? I love you guys. That was another episode of Tote Tarot. We had our Cambodia and Thai. We had it in our Dang Funk Extracts pen. Happy Halloween and happy manifesting. Bye, guys.